now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. Well, good morning, Glue Troopers. I hope you're all doing well. I, uh got the Death Star sort of painted up and taped up and I agree with what one of the glue troopers said in the comments section that this kit was really just made to look good hanging from a 10 year old ceiling because it's it would make my list one of my 10 worst kits I've ever built crappy fit just wrong detail just everything that can be wrong is wrong so I'm just I mean I'm still going to touch it up I'm not done with it yet but uh I'm not going to make any heroic efforts to try and salvage it. I'm just going to move on to the next thing. And besides, it'll probably look pretty good hanging up in the Tarbis at distance. So, yeah, that's really all I wanted out of it. I, uh, I guess maybe that Bondi Death Star kit's more accurate. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> when you think about how complex a Death Star is, it really would be a hard thing to make a really accurate model of. And the detail would be, let's put it this way, it would probably have a mostly smooth surface with just decals. That would be the way to do it. Um, just large decal strips. And that would be the way if I was going to manufacture one, I'd do it. So anyway, but it's still, you know, it's all, it's all in good fun. You know, I had a good time with it. So no complaints there. F figure out a way to hang it up. Probably just put a eye screw in the top of it or something. But uh, speaking of which, uh, the Tarbis, I uh, am glad to report that that the ventilation system on the uh, paint booth works really well because when I uh, I just used this primer which was a perfect shade and had the right texture looked good uh, to uh, I, I, of course I spent all that time yesterday masking it off and then uh, hit it today with a couple of coats of the primer and then peeled off the tape and I think I got it all there may still be a few little strips hiding in there because you know <laughs> given the way that detail lays those little bits of tape can lay pretty flush uh, so uh, it worked really well but I left the Tarbis to let it gas out, but I still left it in the paint booth and had the paint booth running. And I came back a couple of minutes later out of the house, and as I was approaching the Tarbis, I could smell all of the vapors from the paint coming out of that uh, vent hose that was sticking out of the door. It was The odor was actually more pungent outside of the Tarbis than inside of it. So, hey, man, take the win. So that's uh, what went on last night. I actually went out and was working kind of late after I had already uh, made my evening video from my little trip to uh, Hobby Lobby. My wife told me that because she is the coupon queen and she told me that uh, actually Hobby Lobby is not doing any coupons of any kind anymore. I, I guess they just don't need to. So I'm hoping at some point those 40% sales come back. I mean, I'll probably buy supplies. I've got more models right now if she caught me trying to buy one i'd probably get my hand slapped but uh, and rightfully so but uh but she's all good about me getting uh, all of the supplies i need actually I'm, I'm just joking if i saw a model i wanted she wouldn't have a problem with it but <laughs> well that that's really all i got for this morning I, i'm still reading the two books uh and uh at the same time, the one on the arrow and, and the one on the early sailplanes trying to learn about the uh, lenticular clouds. And Man, I did not realize guys are going up so high right after World War II and even during World War II. All this research was being done in sailplanes going up really high. I mean, we're talking in, in you know high 20s, 30,000 feet at, in a sailplane. I mean, that's high in a jet. So, And, uh, okay, that's really it for this morning. You guys take care of yourself. And as always, model on.